So now realizing perhaps too late what a boneheaded comment that was, Biden is flip-flopping on fracking, trying to preserve the petroleum-rich Pennsylvania. But the former vice president's backtracking may not save him. Considering his extreme position on oil, here's church militant's William Mahoney with more. As president, would you be willing to sacrifice some of that growth, even knowing potentially that it could displace thousands, maybe hundreds of thousands of blue-collar workers in the interest of transitioning to that greener economy? The answer is yes. Trump denounced Biden's radical anti-fossil fuel agenda while barnstorming through Pennsylvania last week. Okay. Biden's plan is an economic death sentence for Pennsylvania's energy sector. I, I mean, I think you all know that. In the second presidential debate, an exchange between Trump and Biden on the topic even puzzled the moderator. Would you close down the oil industry? By the way, I would transition from the oil industry, yes. Oh, I would transition. It is a big statement. That's a because big statement. I would stop. Why would you do that? Because the oil industry pollutes significantly. Oh because it has to be replaced by renewable energy over time. Over 10 million Americans work in the oil and natural gas industry. This, after the final presidential debate, led Trump's former energy secretary and former Texas governor, Rick Perry, to warn in a tweet, quote, hey, Texas and Pennsylvania, Joe Biden just admitted he would transition from the oil industry, effectively killing an estimated 11 million jobs. Last week, sleepy Joe Biden made perhaps the most shocking admission ever uttered in the history of presidential debates. In other words, he blew it. In addition to the enormous loss of jobs, he is Mr. going President? to destroy the oil industry. Okay. Will you remember that, Texas? Will you okay. remember that, Pennsylvania, Oklahoma? Vice President Biden, let me give you 10 seconds to respond, Ohio. and then I have to. If Biden got his way, gas prices would skyrocket. Nice to have that $2 gasoline, isn't it? Biden's timeline for phasing out the fossil fuel industry is anybody's guess, including Biden's. We need, we need other industries to transition to get to ultimately a complete zero emissions by 2025. We have to move toward a net zero emissions. The first place to do that by the year 2035 is in energy okay. production by 2050 totally. And his campaign's official webpage only adds to the confusion ensuring the U.S. achieves a 100% clean energy economy and net zero emissions no later than 2050. Biden flip-flops a lot well. and doesn't seem sure about his own positions on many well points of policy. Of this has led some to wonder, who's actually running against Trump? William Mahoney, Church Militant, Detroit. Now, it seems clear that Biden isn't really the one running for president. Now, if he wins, it's likely just a matter of time before Kamala Harris is in charge. And according to recent statement from squad member Ilian Omar, Dems under Harris-Biden would eliminate fracking.